Hi, I'm Auri Katarina, and today I'm taking you with me to clean this very dirty home ecologically. This house owner is only 18 years old girl Emma. She has lived here a little over a year, but I will tell you the story a bit later. In this video I will also teach you a little bit about ecological cleaning. I often get asked for ecological cleaning tips, so here they are. I'm cleaning with my friend Bonia, whose speciality is eco-cleaning. It's really fun to clean together. Have you ever tried cleaning with a friend? Coming up in this video. I'll teach you how to use baking soda and cleaning, how to make your own DIY cleaning spray and why microfiber cloths are good in eco-cleaning. In this apartment we are recycling all the trashes. Papers, plastic, cardboard, glass and metal to these different colored and sized bags. Bonia is collecting all the cardboards and glass. I'm collecting all the clothes, papers and bottles. It's not always easy to recycle, but here the trashes are dry and easy to separate. I think recycling is fun. I love to separate all kinds of different trashes. Recycling is also kind of trendy and super easy. After collecting all the trashes from the hallway, we smelled a really bad smell. So I had to clean this sink. There was a lot of smelly water. Only did this sink smell really bad, it was grey and lifeless. I wanna make it shine again. Scrub Daddy is ready! An eco-friendly dish soap. Plus, have you ever tried baking soda on your sink? Baking soda enhances the effect of the dishwashing liquid. Baking soda is a powder, so it drops the dirt off effectively, but it won't scratch the surface. You should definitely try it. And then we run into a problem. So the problem was that we didn't find any dishwasher tablets. That was bad. But here comes the eco-friendly life hack. In an emergency like this, you can use baking soda. It's not that good of course, but it's an eco-helper. Now when the dishes are done, let's move into my favorite part. The dirty bathroom. Now Bonia starts to clean this toilet. As you can see, the toilet had a lot of hay, but that's why it was so dirty delicious. We didn't have time to wash Emma's clothes, but we did try to get rid of all the hay. Okay, like I said, Bonia is professional eco-cleaner. Here is Bonia's four ingredient DIY spray. It removes grease and stains effectively and it smells super good. Scrub Mommy loves it also. Usually I use a lot of chemicals so I wanna rinse them completely. But now Bonia is using only her spray so she is just wiping it off. Now 
I know I'm not perfect, but here I'm using eco-friendly dish soap. With Bonia, we love to learn new things, so comment below what is your must-have eco-friendly product. Okay, the shower is fine, but there's underneath something, I think it's rust. But I can remove it ecologically. I just need power paste and steel daddy. And now the whole shower is clean. Here I'm using only microfiber cloth and water, nothing else. Do you want to see tutorial how I fold my microfiber cloth and how I use it? Ardenet toothpaste, one of my favorite stains. I always use a steel daddy because it removes hardened stains effectively. Like this. Most toothbrush chargers can last up 30 minutes submerged in water, so there is no harm in rinsing it under running water. And it's clean! Emma had a lot of empty bottles in here, but it's okay. Bonia is reorganizing everything. Now let's clean the toilet floor. First we have to brush all the hay away. Then spray some water on the floor. Add a little bit eco-friendly dish soap. Then brush it with flat mop. You can also use brush for the grout. Then it's easier to rinse if you first wipe all the foam away. Rinsing and drying, and voila, it's clean. Bonia loves organizing, so she reorganized these cabinets for Emma. Look at that! Power paste magic! Easy! By the way, this hand soap smells super good. Like candy. Some toilet paper. And toilet brush, of course. Okay, let's clean this living room. Ah, I can't wait to clean that corner where is rug and a lot of hay. Now it's time to tell Emma's story. Emma was living with her parents in a big city. Emma had hobbies and she was good at school. Everything was going nice and well. Emma received a gift from her parents that she had desired for so long. A little bunny, which Emma named Snoopy. Emma immediately fell in love with Snoopy and she became her dearest friend. Emma didn't have that many actual friends, but that didn't matter since she had Snoopy. Every day Emma took care of her and spent time with her, and she was so important to her. Emma graduated and wanted to go to college. Emma also dreamed about moving to her with own home with Snoopy. She began working and soon found a good rental apartment near her parents' house. Emma was excited and moved out when she turned 18. 
everything was going well. She took care of the home and Snoopy, and they had a blast living together. Snoopy was a two years old happy bunny until everything changed. Snoopy started having seizures and Emma was really worried. She took Bunny to the vet and they told her that there was nothing they could do for Snoopy. Emma had to let go of Snoopy. She felt like her whole world was falling apart. Everything just froze. Emma was hurt and I could hear that when she told me about losing Snoopy. She couldn't clean anymore because everything around her reminded her of Snoopy. Trashes started to pile up and Emma started getting worse. Emma was ashamed but knew she needed help, so she contacted me. Sometimes it's easier to have a total stranger to come and clean your home, so you can finally breathe again. We packed away all of Snoopy's things so when she is ready, Emma can take them out again and enjoy all the beautiful memories they had together. I believe this cleaning will help Emma and give her a fresh start. In Finland we have separate bins for all the different types of waste. This is cardboard. More cardboard. <laughs> Next, papers, glass, and metal. We saved these bags so we can use them again. Now I'll tell you why microfiber cloths are great in ecological cleaning. Microfiber cloths do shed microplastic, which you can prevent by using a wash bag. However, most of the time you only need to use water with microfiber cloths, and that's ecological. As an alternative, you can use bamboo cloths. Let's recap some ecological cleaning supplies. You might already have these in your home. If you have limescale in your home, try vinegar and steel daddy. As I mentioned before, baking soda is a good enhancer for other ingredients too. As long as you know that grease can be removed with an alkaline-based product and limescale with acid. Ecological alkaline-based products are dish soap and baking soda. Acid-based products are citric acid and vinegar. Okay, this is how you can eco-friendly clean your induction stove. Same thing, first dish soap, then baking soda. And remember to put a lot of baking soda. And then scrub daddy is ready to scrub. Scrub it for a while. Still, we have really badly burnt stains left. But that's okay, they are really easy to remove. Just use a scraper. A scraper is a tool that has a small handle and a metal plate and can be used for scraping a particular surface clean. Many people are afraid to use a scraper because it can scratch the surface. But trust me and try it first in a small area, then you will notice that it's really safe to use. And voila, our induction stove is clean. Woohoo! Many times I don't have a lot of time to organize the house owner's cabinets. But this time we had. 
We can organize almost every cabinet from the kitchen and that makes me happy. <laughs> Guess what Bonia is doing again? Reorganizing! She is again using her DIY spray. I can't wait to try it for myself. Okay, okay, I did some organizing too. You should really try cleaning with a friend. Maybe first in your own home, then at your friend's home. It's so much fun together. I love when you have fresh flowers in your home. I think Emma will be so happy when she gets home. But still, we have so much to clean. Bed, floors and some dusting. Surprise, surprise! Hay on the floor! <laughs> if you have pets or kids, try using a squeaky for your floor. It collects everything so fast from your floor. This couch had amazing surprise. Dresses! Now I finally get to try Bonia's DIY spray. Let's see how it works. Let's spray it. Mmm, it smells really good. Then I just wipe it with circular motions. Circular motions remove stains better. If you don't have any stains, you can just wipe straight. If you have really hard stains, you can use scraper.
and voila, it worked really well. Now we want to clean under this bed and make the bed looks nice. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that wasn't even bad. It's so hard to do things like this, for example move your bed on your own home, but when it's someone else's home, it's super easy. That's weird. I always buy new stuff for the house owner, like pillows, sheets, food and so on. New bed sheets and there was this cute little bunny. Like Snoopy. Okay, now it's only the floor left. I can't wait to see the final result. I believe that Emma is really happy now and she can move on. Snoopy will always stay in her heart. For me, it's time to go to a next dirty home. So see you then. Bye bye!